Hello, I'm Matt Moore at the Exalted Training Center here in Pomona, California. Today's paint defect topic is pore opacity, also known as coverage or hiding. Opacity problems are usually noticeable after the base coat has been applied or even after the clear coat. The vehicle is taken outside or in a different area of the shop and this is when we can see the undercoat visible through the final top coat. There are many possible reasons for poor opacity. Let's take a moment and discuss a few of these. Well, for example, it could be the lighting in the booth. Maybe it's not bright enough. Maybe we're not using color correct bulbs. It can also be improper mixing of the material. For example, over thinning or over reducing. It can also be caused by not applying enough coats to achieve opacity. Something else you want to be aware of. Sometimes on affected metallic colors, the substrate may not be uniform. This can cause the metallic to track or map the undercoat. This can give the appearance of poor opacity, but in reality, it's the substrate causing a difference in surface tension leading to light and dark shadows. We also have to consider the undercoat. Would it make sense to use a mid-gray undercoat if we're spraying a white top coat? So how do we prevent opacity issues from even occurring? Well, we have to go back and revisit the things that are causing it. For example, lighting. If you have poor lighting in the spray booth, make the necessary repairs and then maintain the system. Make sure you're using an approved color check light. Always check the base coat after the final coat is applied, after flash, and before clear coat. Now, when it comes to mixing the product, always follow the TDS and never add extra reducer or thinner. Make sure you're stirring the product thoroughly also. When it comes to undercoats, you want to use undercoats that are consistent with the color you're spraying. For example, if you're spraying a light color, use a lighter undercoat. If you're not sure, refer to your color tools or the formula for extra guidance. Make sure you're using the TDS for proper gun setup and nozzle needle choice. The only way to remedy a poor opacity issue is to let the clear coat dry, sand the vehicle, and apply more color and more clear coat. Obviously, it's much less work if we can catch the issue before clear coating. So you always wanna make sure you get in the habit of checking for opacity before clear coating the vehicle. We wanna say thank you for attending today's session and we look forward to seeing you on our next Paint Defects tutorial.